Welcome back to my Let's Play. This is Minecraft Quests with SRJ26. Um, this episode we are going to meet Paul and he is going to show us some of the cool stuff he has built in his base. Um, he is the gentleman who has set up this server as I fall off the bridge and hurt myself. We are on the live server by the way. Um, we've spent a lot of time recently on the uh, on a backup of the um, of this world because I was dealing with looking at older stuff that had changed and I want to show you the original versions. So we're going to come over here and this is, should we call you Paul or Bora? Um, either one works. Okay, well I'm going to call you Paul because uh, I know you better as Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that works fine for me. So tell us about your base. Uh, this is the base I got uh, when I first started the server. I walked a long way from the uh, from the uh, spawn point, which is way over that way somewhere, and uh, I wanted to try a new style house, so I went with this um, weird triangle top that you can see through. Uh, spiders can't get in, but I can see out pretty well. Nothing will spawn on the roof because they're half blocks, and I put the cactus all the way around, so mobs will come up and hit against them and uh, kill themselves. Which can you nice. shoot the spiders through the roof? And you can spi shoot spiders through the roof. So I can stay on the inside. If I had a sword, I can put a block down, get up, and I can hit them with a sword. Um, it, was, it was fairly... It worked fairly well very early in the game. Excellent, excellent. Um, I like it. It's very artistic. When I did <laughs> the Eastern Roadhouse, I came over and I saw your roadhouse, and I was a little jealous because it's very artistic, but they're uh, they're just different. Uh, but I, I've always liked the design you've done over here. Yeah, I tend to go to Pyramid some t for some reason. But, it's uh, very Eastern or something, I don't know. Now, do you find that you actually find a lot of stuff killing itself on the on the cactus? Um, back before I put all the um, torches out, I was collecting quite a bit of loot from uh, killed killed monsters as they rub up against them. Cool. It was It was great. Watching a creeper out there keep hitting the uh, cactus and uh, eventually dying was great. Awesome. And I also had in here, on the grass in here, I kept getting uh, sheep, pigs, and cows, and and uh, what are the other ones? The other chickens. Chickens, yep. And which was funny. So, so you've you've got a style like mine. There's not a lot on top, but then uh, try to do a lot underground. So let's go down and if I can get down the. There we go. Okay. Yep. So this was my basic starting point. It's where my bed is, uh, my original furnace and chests and um, work workbench. Uh, then I started digging down, so I can start mines, get as low as I can get, find diamonds and stuff like that. And on the way down, I built other rooms off the side near the top that I use for miscellaneous different things. And that's mostly what I want to show you today is a lot of the things down here. Uh, if we start heading down, you can see right here is my storeroom. Um, quick and easy. I found this to be an extremely efficient method of stacking um, ch ch chests in so a very you, tight space. You can't open a chest if there's something on top of it, but glass doesn't count? Glass doesn't count. Awesome. And by putting the torches in the back behind the glass, you can actually put the uh, signs right in front of it so you can see which side points to what, so you can see what's in your chest without having to go look at them. Oh, you mean the the, 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 the sign is lit from the back? From the back. Oh, that's kind of neat. I never realized that's why you, why you did that. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Um, so that's what's on that side. This side over here, um, I've got my Super Forge. But that's minor. In here is my first farm that I have for sugar cane. Um, a lot of people like to do the automated sugar canes, sugar cane farms where water comes down and rushes everything out. I find for the quantity of sugar cane you need, this works perfect. There is a row of 15 half steps in the middle, of which in the very center is a source of water that goes in seven in each direction. Oh, okay. So you got water underneath here. Yep, and then just one row on each side of the uh, of the sugar cane, and all you have to do is punch out 
as you walk down yeah, one whole row. Yep. And then you do the other side. Very simply. And just collect all the shuriken, and you just ended up with. Um, how much shuriken do I have? 57 pieces of shuriken? 57 so how many? Uh, how, how many bookshelves does that make in one harvest? Oh, I have no idea. No. I haven't um, made any bookshelves yet, but. Oh, really? So, no. what do you use the sugarcane for? Uh, cake, uh, sugar, maps. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I've been uh, I've been making bookcases back at my base for Amy because I figured she'd want bookshelves and she hasn't taken me up on it. Yep. Now the uh, thing about sugarcane. Yep. The thing about sugarcane is it actually grows really quickly. So every time I walk by there, I just harvest it. Um, we'll go ahead and look at my um, tree farm next. This was a design I found on the internet a long time ago. Let me go ahead and uh, get rid of one of these trees real quick. Uh, there's a pattern on the floor. That as soon as I get rid of enough of this tree, you'll be able to see. And what I've done is anywhere on the floor that is um, that is dirt, you can plant a tree on. Everywhere that it's sand or uh, cobblestone has a torch on it. And that's the maximum density of torches you need to get a maximum density of trees out of this. Oh, neat. So someone actually went and did the math. Yeah. So to speak. Yep. Um, I saw a picture of this on the internet. I figured out how to lay it out. I laid it out. Uh, the only drawback with this one is because there's so much overlap. If I've completely filled all the dirt up with trees, I can get four stacks of 64 trees in one harvest. Oh, wow. But I don't. But I don't get enough saplings to replant the whole thing. Gotcha. So that's a drawback of it. So that's why I actually only have four in here right now, because right now I've got plenty of wood. Yep. So anytime I need saplings or I want to collect the trees for the the leaves for leaf blocks, I'll use that. This is um. This is a point of comparison. The way I I do. Uh tree harvesting I actually do bone meal and I'll do a single tree I'll grow it in um, underground and then I'll cut it down I, I'll, I'll plant it I'll bone meal it I'll cut it down I'll plant another one bone meal it cut it down and just rinse and repeat yep the only drawback with that plan is if you don't find a archer uh, skeleton archer um, dungeon to harvest yes, exactly. the bones I built this originally when I had no bones. Oh, that's so yeah, that obviously. you can't use that concept. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so that's the tree farm. Okay. Get that door. In here now, is a very, very simple mushroom farm. Useless. <laughs> well, not useless, but well, um, it's not a great farm. Anybody can build this one. Basically, all I did is I added reds to this side, browns to that side, and let them grow in the middle, and whenever I harvest, I just leave the two outside rows. Oh, neat. So let them fight it out. So let them fight it out. Yep. Um, over here is my wheat farm. I built this before pistons were out. This is a water-based system. Um, if you look all the way in the back, there's a ladder. If you go up that ladder, you'll find a place to place a water block. You place oh. the water. You place the water block. Water comes down and washes all this out, and you'll end up down here with all the seeds and all the all the wheat. And then you just have to replant all the seeds. Um, when I came in earlier today, I noticed that nothing here was planted. <laughs> so I just planted that this here about a half hour ago. Oh, okay. That grew pretty quick. Yeah, it grew pretty quick. Up here is something you don't see a lot of right now. This is actually my chicken farm, which is inactive at the moment. Um, I've got a... Squeeze in front of you so I can see. Sure, absolutely. There we go. Go on in. Nothing will happen. Okay. Um, the whole concept of this is that the chickens will be forced over here. They'll lay eggs. They'll drop down here. If you look down, you'll see, actually see a fence. Um, the eggs will drop down. It'll follow a path to the outside to a collection point, and the oh, chickens okay. stay in here. 
And ultimately, um, if they actually um, introduce surfboards to the game, then you can use this as a little, you know, one of those little <laughs> surf riding pools that you see yep. at the water parks. It'd be great. Um, up here, I've got a dispenser. So anytime I want to put more chickens in here, I just activate the uh, dispenser, and it oh, fires the all the eggs, eggs across uh, the far wall. Now, how many, I mean, you don't get a chicken out of every egg, right? Uh, one in eight chance. Oh, really? Okay. So you just do enough that you'll eventually get a bunch of chickens in here. And how long do they last? Do they uh, the spawn after a while? The chickens will stay in here as long as you are within the 128 block radius. Really? Before they start. They'll, well, actually, 28 block ra radius for non-spawn. But if you go outside of 128, they'll all go. Wow, okay. So this is new to me. I've never seen this room. This is uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, very cool, very cool. Um, so Paul, I have I'm... two full chests of eggs. Oh, okay. From this okay. room. That's why there's none in here. I don't need any. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Um, yeah, I've got that situation in, on the live server here with my base. I've got certain things that, whoa, that I've got enough of. Okay, am I going backwards? Uh, yeah, we're going to go back. There's one other thing that I would like to show, and that is the uh, minecart. Actually, two things: the minecart and the uh, and the mob trap. 